Hi everybody, this is Crossroad Vanguards. I'm the captain here and I got Leon. VMAX! And I got Dempster. Thomas! <laughs> I'm surrounded by GRs. Okay, today we have the new GBT-09 Divine Dragon Caper. Dempster, what's the Japanese name? Tenbu Ryujin. Actually, no, it's Tenmai Ryujin, right? Tenmai. Tenmai Ryujin. You know what? This, no it's actually Kemo. no, it's actually Tenbu. <laughs> Tenbu Ryujin no Kenbu Kurai! <laughs> okay, thank you, Genji. You can get out now, so <laughs> go find Anjara. So alright, so this is the new um this is the new uh GPT-09 that's yep. just released. Mm -hmm. Um you can see the release dates right now for Japanese and for English as well. Alright, so the class that this box uh boosts is actually well might as well just prop it up here since yep. it's based on the side. You can see the clans here. Yep. So this uh box is actually boosting Shadow Paladin, mm -hmm. of course. And it's got Angel Feather, it's got Gear Chronicle, mm -hmm. Spike Brothers, yep. it also has Narukami, um, Narukami. and Aqua Force. And Aqua Force. Okay. And Cream Elemental on the side. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> nah, I just, I just trying to process why they're taking so long to process the two GR clans. For I know, right? I'm so sad. Especially when I just say I'm surrounded by GR. So anyways, I'm willing. Okay. Anyways, so uh, just go straight into aesthetics of the box. On the yep. front, you can see the new character for Vanguard G next, which is uh, Kazuma, Kazuma Shoji. Shoji. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Kazuma Shoji and his um, Ace Vanguard, which is. Uh, uh, Lua. Now this is uh, drag hard. No, not drag hard. Drag hard is the other one. Drag this is driver. I drag think. driver Lua. Yes. Yeah. So, so drag driver Lua on the box. Five, fifth anniversary still on top right there. So we're coming close to the year. It's going into six years soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, can't believe we're all getting six we're years. We're all now. <laughs> we're all old players now. Anyways, uh, so at the side here we have uh, some of the other units that's featured here. Can you, Dems, can you see them? Um, um, I'm not sure the full name. What the full names are, but this is essentially um, Rising Supernova. And on the right we have Altiel. Great, great superhero and holy star of Altiel. Yeah, thanks. Great superheroes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, Hey, on the, on the, this is on the left, right? Yeah, left. No, no, left yeah, so the basic information, how many types of GR? There are two. There are uh, two types of GRs, eight types of triple R, 12 types of double R, 22 types of single R, and 60 types of single Single, single Comments. Single. single <laughs> yeah, single and R. not only that, uh, there are a total of 20 kinds of... Uh, 12... Two kinds of SGR and 20 kinds of SP, including the two SP packs that is featured in this set. Well, actually, the SP, as I've noticed in the previous, uh, uh -huh. um, in the previous releases that we've had, uh, so mm. there has been only two SP packs within one carton. So within sixteen boxes, mm. two of the packs that's in there is actually SP packs. So, oh, yeah. and uh, do you guys know which uh, clan is getting an SP pack for this box? I'm guessing Narukami, Narukami and Aqua Force. Aqua Force. Uh, uh, no, Narukami. there is two, two more. Oh, oh, really? shit. oh yeah, there are. Lohat is getting one as Shadow Paladin. Shadow Paladin. Uh, Shadow Paladin, and I'm guessing the next one should be Spike Brothers. Mm. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers, I believe. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Yeah. Because yeah. the rest already got it. Except mm. for... No, no the, rest the rest all got it. Yeah. So. So. Alright, so let's open this like the treasure chest that it is. But actually, if, uh, we forgot one more thing also. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The bottom. Oh. Because yeah. the bottom is a little different in that the design-wise, the, both the card dividers are now on the right side up, so you don't need to. Oh, I like this one. No, I like this one. Maybe. Okay, wait. Yeah. <laughs> and V Max. Tapas. So you can cut these two out and you know slot them in. And they are the full. And they're the full art. Oh, right. What am I talking about? <laughs> full art, bro. Full art. Everything's yeah, full art. Okay. Full art. So open it up. Back to this point. So mm -hmm. inside you see the card list as well as some of the deck builds, deck recipes. Yep. Deck and recipes. And the difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> My rescue angel. <laughs> Sorry. I just want a very interesting. My rescue angel. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna be looking at that a bit later. So yeah. That's a bit. Crazy. And then on the other side, and oh. Looks like Gear Chronicle is has stepped up its difficulty. And Spike Brothers is apparently easier to play in Gear Chronicle, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> this should have been a level 5 deck. This should have been a level 2 deck. <laughs> okay, anyway. Alright, moving out of, move that out of the way. So moving this aside now. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. the colors are looking very contrasting. I'm, look, I'm getting a bit of a psychedelic vibe yeah, from here. And so. because the packs are no longer SP feel, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do away with that kind of talk unless it comes back again. Uh -huh. The single sort of box, which no longer has that, is back to gloss. So um, the, the whole pack is pretty nice in terms of the color scheme is blue and turquoise, uh, which fits in pretty well with the current set, um, you know, for Shadow, Pal uh, for, for the tro for Shadow Paladin, the, the Drag Wizards. Yes. Yeah. Um, the reason why I'm taking this out, usually we just leave it in the box, but I just noticed that this is actually a thing on the side. Oh, what is this? Uh, you have to tell me because I don't read really Japanese. <laughs> oh, right, right, oh, right, right. Okay, now that is a very interesting thing. This is something new that they did. These are counters for your keywords. Oh! I'm not kidding. Alright, oh. so we're going from here. There are four counters for charge, mm -hmm. two counters for ritual, 
And on the other side, we have um, Thunder Strike counters, one, two, three, and right, five. Right, And lastly, waves, first to fourth. So this is the first time they did such a thing, and I honestly find this very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Holy hell, this is awesome! Actually. I am keeping this. <laughs> yeah, we are, we totally are cutting this out. We're keeping this, and we yeah, might we even use. see in the video. Yeah, yeah who knows? <laughs> All right, so just move this out of the way. So thirty packs in here. We got a lot to go through. What do you want to say? And before I go on, uh, yeah. there's, uh, before we go on the opening spec, there's also one more thing I want to point out that the color gradient. The, uh -huh. the blue and the turquoise, it, it like goes, it like blends in. Oh yeah, I actually mentioned that just now already. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you just say oh. two, oh, yeah, two colors. colors yeah. But, yeah, actually but uh, yeah, there is a bit of gradients and there's a bit more detail in the background as well and that is not a flat color. Yes, Which right. is, you know, make it more aesthetically presentable. It's yes. immersive. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. yeah. Let's ready? go straight into opening this, guys. We'll see you guys in a bit. This is the, the, the stuff that we've opened up in this box. Uh, as you can see, uh, we happen to have nine falls this time round, and that's mainly because we got one we hit one of the reprinted cards, which is um Zillion. Oh, uh, not no, Zillion. This is Dragonic, Dragonic Descendant. Descendant. Yeah, yeah, so Dragonic Descendant, oh, we forgot to mention earlier at the start of the video, there are actually five cards that's getting reprinted in this box. Yep. Uh, one of them is, you can see, Dragonic Descendant. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is Glory Maelstrom. Um, I believe uh, Commander yeah, Storm uh, Commander Tawas the Strike. Commander Tawas, yes, yes. Uh, Raging um, Form Dragon mm -hmm. and Dragon Vanquisher Voltage. Thank you for, for filling in the rest for yep. me. Even though I was trying to remember them all. Sorry. All right. <laughs> so uh, let's not deal that. Let's get straight into discussing what the cards that we have here. Now, uh, you, the cards that you see here, we do have a, a link in the description below that will lead to our blog. Uh, the blog will lead you to a, a post called the the Booster Pack. Yeah. So the booster pack will actually they will tell you more about the cards that we missed from this one. Mm. So you can go over there and if you, your favorite card is not here, like his favorite card, which is VMAX, you can check the <laughs> links in the description below and you can uh, find out more about what the cards have down there. So yeah, right. So let's carry on with this. So let's start with the let's, very let's first. Just... We, the, the, the cards are already arranged in order, mm. rather than the, the reprint. So we'll go from the number down. The first one is of course. number down, more like what you like most is Sorry, this box. Like, <laughs> it just happened to be the first one. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, um, what's his uh, part? Storm of Lament yeah. Wailing Tabas. Thank you. Storm of Lament Wailing Tabas. His Japanese name is Dokoku no Arashi Wailing Tabas. So his GB3 skill is an auto skill when this unit attacks. During that, um, for every rear guard that has attacked that turn, your opponent chooses one of his own rear guards and retire it. His other skill, which is a GB2, second, uh, third wave and above. Kind of last one, when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, um, for every rear guard that has attacked this turn, this unit plus 5k and your opponent cannot guard with grade 1 from your hand. Wow. Can't guard with grade 1 only, is it? Yeah, grade 1 only. Not minor. So grade 0, grade 2, grade 3. Not uh, yeah, grade, grade 1. Right? So, yeah, you cannot guard with grade 1 from your yeah, hand. No, so. velvet. <laughs> uh, express. Well, I'm, I'm honestly very happy, but okay, anyway, my after thoughts uh, another time. So <laughs> yeah, but basically this is a GR and it's worthy of the GR title considering the skills that that uh, we just explained uh, right there. It's so. definitely better than Commander Tabas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the best part, the best part is doesn't need. Commander Tabas. It doesn't. Well, I'm still salty because I didn't get Commander Tabas. The Tabas tradition Tabas. kept on since BTO7. GBTO7. Uh, yes. Yep. Mm. Doesn't really need a heart and such. Yep. Yep. Anyway, alright, let's move on next. This is um, a support for a sub clan that has not. Well, well, well a, a, a series new, of cards. Yeah, yeah, actually, is this not. is a new sub clan support, which is yeah. Raging. So, this is True Revenger Raging Rap Dragon. Sorry. <laughs> Somehow wrapped is wrapped. I, yeah. so. I can't wrap this around my hand. Anyway, <laughs> uh, his Vanguard skill is a is he's the second um, uh, G unit that has a limit break skill. 
So with Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose a Grade 3, uh, uh, choose up to 2 uh, Abyss Dragon Grade 3s from your hand and drop them and choose 2 of your Regards and retire them. So at the end of the battle that this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Raging Heart, you may pay the cost. If you do, move this unit to the G Zone face up uh, and choose one of your uh, face down True Revenger Raging Rap Dragon from your G Zone. Stride it, uh, stride it in stand in a vanguard circle and during that turn this unit gets minus one drive. Holy cow! It's a, it's a mouthful of text. It's a mouthful of text, but essentially his, his skill plays a lot like the original Raging Form Dragon in that you need to Persona right, uh, restand, uh, a, pseudo, a pseudo restanding vanguard. Mm, yeah, yeah. Which is very interesting and he doesn't need to get a power plus because he's already very big on his own. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because it's really 26 right there, so it's like you add power some more, and it's just like well, you're asking for a higher rarity right you're, now. You're so, asking for meta! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. safe to say. So. Yeah. Okay, so next we have um, another support for the Blue Storm. Mm -hmm. So, this is Blue Storm, I believe this is Blue Storm Spinning Dragon. Um, spinning. Disaster <laughs> Maelstrom. I think it's either Spinning or Whirlpool, la. or Vortex! Mm. What? No, I don't think it's Vortex, it's something else. Yeah, so. But you can see the name on the screen right now. So, yeah. so anyway, his skill is um, choose one disaster maelstrom from your G zone and turn it face up. So when this unit attacks, if you have a maelstrom heart, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a maelstrom card, uh, choose up to one maelstrom card from your deck, uh, reveal it, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you have a maelstrom card in your soul, Choose up to three units in your front row during a turn plus five k. Mm -hmm. So this is very good for the break right. Uh, let's say for example you have a great, you break right to glory maelstrom. Next turn you got nothing ready. You strike to disaster maelstrom. This uh, the, the second part of the skill will make sure that you you hit harder, faster, stronger, longer, better over anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a very good support for for um this uh for maelstrom and it's certainly a better companion I would say to emerald maelstrom yes. because emerald maelstrom requires you to hit. This one requires you to have a Maelstrom in your heart, which is easily done considering the way Maelstrom is boosted now. Yes, correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. making... Very true, uh, so and you know, go ahead, go. finish your turn. Uh, mm -hmm. As a Maelstrom player, I still am today, despite I'm not touching it for so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of yeah. pass down my mantle, oh. in a way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'm no longer a uh, Soryu Leon. <laughs> so I uh, sold you them. Yeah, you were saying. So as I was saying, uh, this is actually very important. Yes. Even if you are not playing the break, right? It does help you to search out for the other millstone parts that you need to switch out for. Correct. For example, like right now, I need to play reverse millstone because my opponent is gonna have a few full of things that I do not want to have. Yeah. So I gotta force him out. So I like switch. Okay. Right. Next, I gotta switch to another band. Switch. Mm. You know. And what's even better that is that this has no battle or wave restrictions. Correct. Or requirements, so you can attack this first and get the card you need. Exactly. Then you just shuffle for, for more on Consid Considering what Admiral Maelstrom actually gave us, so this is actually sort of like a concept for Maelstrom players. I yes. See. Yes, yes. Because of their on hit, uh, it has on hit threat, but then yeah. it's like everybody can, can guard it now thanks to the G Guardians. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's a godsend for yeah. Lots and Savior. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the yep. next, I want to give it to Cam because Angel Fender. Yeah, yeah. So I happen to be taking Angel Fender this time. So uh, alright. So this unit is uh, Holy Seraph. Um, oh no, Holy Celestial. Mm. This is Holy Celestial uh, Anafiel. Mm, Anafiel. Anafiel. So. Yeah, kind of. So, uh, its skill is that it's a continuous skill. Mm -hmm. So if uh, so, if I have a Celestial Heart, then this unit get the skill. <laughs> This unit gets the skill. Um, auto, which is auto once per turn, Vanguard Circle. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the cost is that you choose uh, one Celestial. Um, From your damage zone? Yeah. One Celestial Rear Guard and you put it to them. So you choose one of Celestial Rear Guards and put it in Damage Zone face up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so then uh, you choose one of your. You choose one uh, card in your Damage Zone mm. and you call it the Rear Circle. Right. And then um, choose three of your units. Mm -hmm. Uh, then choose three units, and if they have a same um, unit, name. if they have a, if the same unit in the damage zone name uh, as they have in the damage zone, then for the turn, uh, all celestials um, plus three thousand power. All celestials with its name gets three thousand power. Okay, the part is a bit confusing, but you can see the the skill right there. Yeah, but just read through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So choose three of okay. units. Then, uh, if any, if you have any units in the same name as the three chosen units, for every, for every, is it? Yeah. For um, for ev for each and every card with the same name as the cards in the damage zone during that turn, 
all of your um, all of your celestial units plus 3k. So for example, you have two. For example, uh, you have two Ramiels. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, you have two Ramiels on your field, and you have uh, okay two Ramiels. Maybe like one Ramiel, one Ramiel reverse. Just for example, then you have just happen to have one Ramiel and one Ramiel reverse in your damage zone as well. So your whole field will plus 6k this time. And you choose three units, right? And then you have a copy in there. Uh, well. Typically yes. Typically yes. So, but you can also choose your Vanguard. So, so which is in most cases for Celestial build, it actually already has that re needed requirement. So it's yeah. kind of easy to build. Correct. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Next, we have another um, Angel Feather. This is a black um, black black uh, devil. Black devil. Black, black devil. Uh, black devil. Flarel. Yeah, Flarel. Uh, Flarel. Yeah. So. So far, right, you've definitely seen this unit in the anime, so... Have we? Sorry, yeah. I don't mind me, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Fat leg. Fat leg. Fat leg. Yeah, yeah fat leg. That's it. <laughs> fat leg, it's a leg. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it has the rescue ability, so... Mm -hmm. uh, this first skill is rescue 1. Uh, auto. Uh, auto. Act. Uh, in the damage zone, so... Uh, GB1, Color Mask 1. So, uh, if, this, when this, if this unit is face up, uh, call this unit to... Uh, open regard circle. To open regard circle. Mm -hmm. No, no, open regular. Call the unit your oh, regular circle. Okay. And for the turn, this unit plus 2k. Uh, okay. Then you then you take the top card of your deck and put your damage zone face up. Then you choose one one of your damage, heal it, and then you deal uh, choose your Vanguard and deal oh, one damage. Oh, okay, so okay, rescue okay, okay. one. So rescue one is you 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 do rescue. So check, essentially so. you put you put cards to your damage zone twice, lah. Yeah. So okay, so basically what you go is that from here, then you call it out to the regard circle. Mm. The color plus one, you call it out to the regard circle as long as this unit is face up. Then you can uh oh, then come to the top. Yeah. Then after you do a rescue check. Exactly. So, ah, yeah. interesting. Uh, he has another skill as well, right? Yeah. The second skill is is uh, auto. So plus one. Uh, move this card into the damage zone. Okay. All right. Uh, while you're paying the cost for strike. Oh, while well, you're paying the cost for the strike, you hit the cost. If you do, you can strike without a cost. Is that it? Um, not exactly. You, you have to think of this. All right. Okay. Because I cannot focus. So blast one uh, and put this card to the damage zone face up. Um. Okay. When this card goes, when this card is discarded as cost for the strike. Ah. Uh, then uh, if your Venga has the rescue ability, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your cards in damage zone and re and heal it. In this case, it refers to both. Uh, uh, you refresh your counter blast, essentially. Yeah, it, no, I mean it refers to both uh, Gavril and uh, Althea, which we didn't get here. So, because um, no. they both have the rescue ability, they're the two that have the rescue ability. Yeah, yeah, as a Vanguard, so. also. Yeah, uh, correct, correct. Minus the other great three units, like, but mm. we we're talking about we we're striding here. Yeah, so. but the timing is something we need, we need to confirm. So that one will come in later. Mm. Anyway, let's move on to the next card. Go, Leon, are you? Yes, <laughs> there's only redemption in this yeah. box yeah, that we have. So. <laughs> Um, I oh, believe uh, it's yeah. a Supreme Conquering Dragon. Supreme mm. Defender. It's, no, it's Defending, Defending Supreme Dragon. Yep. Mm, uh, okay. Buraku, uh, Dragon. Bulwark Dragon. Bulwark, yeah. The, the Japanese is like Burak. Blah, Dragon. <laughs> Burak. Anyways, yep. this guy is a G Guardian, as you can see. His Thunder Strike 3 is a tank, is a plus 10k defender when this guy is in uh, Guardian uh, Circle. So it's basically, it's a 25k defender. Mm. At the same time, he's an auto skill. This is the interesting part. Uh, when this guy is in the Guardian Circle, at the end of the battle, Mm. Okay, for every four cards in uh in your in the bind zone, mm. you choose one of your opponent rested front row rear guard and retire, and retire it. Oh, so it's basically it's a it's a so, pseudo deny griffin thing. Mm. Yeah, but rested so but rested, and in the front row so so yeah. you can clear out his his interceptors basically. Basically, uh, once it comes to your turn, basically yeah. battle on drug. So. <laughs> Bellot oh, nice yeah. as a G Guardian. Bellot as a G Guardian, yeah. but the downside is that you need to have four cards in the bind zone each individually. So you need to have like total of eight if you want to destroy both. Is it? No, it's, it's just for every four yeah, cards every in your opponent's bind zone. Yeah, exactly. So you need so to you, you need to essentially have uh yeah eight la you know retire yeah, to maximize yeah. the effect. Mm -hmm. And to get Thunder Strike in such an early turn is very hard. Yes, yeah, correct. So you still need to play the noble, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next we move on to um, <clears throat> this is a blue wave support. So he's blue wave marine general, uh, Altium. So his skill is uh, first skill auto skill. When your rear guard with blue wave in his name attacks during a turn, it gets plus three k. And his second skill is an X skill vanguard once per turn. Um, so blast one blue wave card. Uh, then look at the top card, top seven cards of your deck. Choose a choose up to one grade three card with um, blue wave in his name. And change uh, and put it in your Vanguard circle as a heart, and shuffle your deck. Then if you put up one, if you put in one or more this way, then um, choose 
choose uh, okay move all the hard cards other than the one put by this effect into the drop zone so basically it's a hard, uh, it's it's essentially bali but a strike version and he helps you to to swap out um swap out the blue uh, the, your hard card for whichever situation that you want to use so for example this one works very well with the other grade 3 uh, the other blue wave grade 3 that is not uh, tetra drive or anger ball yes. which will help proc his skill as well but if you already have that and you want and you decide hey maybe next turn i will need um, anger ball to strike the tetra ball you can do that as well yep. so this is a very interesting card to say the least uh, yeah. but essentially but nonetheless a very good support for the blue wave lah. Mm -hmm. i think there's a lot of lambros <laughs> but Lambros is something so else other than Lambros. But yes, you got winning Tava, so what do you care? Lambros is who? <laughs> I still need Lambros, you know. <laughs> the situation, all that. Yeah. That this card has potential field wipe very yeah. easily. Very no, Lambros, Lambros, uh, Lambros is like um, Feather Buster Diablo. It fits everything in for that clan. Mm. Yes. Correct. But anyway, we digress. So let's move on to the next one. Um, this is Demonic King Dudley wow. something. Dudley Caligula. Ca Ca Caligula. Caligula. Uh, Caligula. Yeah, Dudley Caligula. So his skill is a uh, counter blast mm. one and choose two cards from your hand, add it to the, uh, put it into the soul, then choose a Dali Caligula from your G zone and turn it face up. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, if you have a Dali hard card, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top 11 cards of your deck and choose up to three cards with Dali in his name, call them to separate empty rearguard circles during the turn plus 2k and shuffle your deck. Spy Brothers, an why unsung you, hero. Spy Brothers, why you use this cheating skill? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm still surprised people do not know the potential that is Spike Brothers. Not many people play it in the currency. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's maybe very, very because easy. it's hard and people like it easy. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe. It's anyway, a technical deck. Yeah. So it's lastly, we have the reprint. Um, okay, so the reprint actually took over... Uh, one of the arms. Okay. Just to mention, yep. the reprint actually took over one of the rares yep. uh, from the box, so you could potentially get nine force in one box. So mm -hmm. if you have the reprint, now we yep. don't know the frequency of of the cards in one carton. We just happen to have the one here. Yep. Uh, so um, we might not be able to get back to you in regards to that. Uh, but if we do, we can probably check back on the booster pack and see if we have any updates at that point in time. So yep. 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 All right. So we'll let Leon go through this because it's Narukami. So and uh, it's a card he knows. So yeah. I miss this card for quite. Uh, I miss and hate this card in a way. <laughs> So anyways, Eraser uh, slash uh, Eradicator <laughs> slash uh, Okay, Dragonic Descendant, mm. okay? Let me break, Color Blast 1, break drop four. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, let me break 4. Yeah, sorry to mention that. Because let me break is always 4 also. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me break 4, Color Blast 1, mm. and uh, drop 3 unit with Eraser slash uh, Eradicator name from, the drop, from my hand. Yep. To the drop zone from my hand. So, <laughs> from your hand, basically. Okay, at uh, during uh, when uh, at the end of the battle when this unit attack misses, that means it gets it cut hit. off. Uh, yeah. It didn't hit. Okay, resend. Uh, you may pay the cost if you do resend plus one crit. Yep. Yep. And yeah, he's another this? skill as well. Wait, there's something. Oh, this is additional tax, I think. Oh, is this skill oh, this unit cannot be used for the rest of the ah. turn. So yeah, this is new actually. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. This skill cannot be used for the rest of the turn. So this is. Oh, even if you even yes. if you don't pay the cost, you can't use it for the rest of the turn. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, even if you yeah. do not pay the cost. So it's a one shot thing. If yeah. you miss it, that's it. This is actually new. It's part of the new things that you yeah. This is. It's essentially a once per turn thing, but with added um criteria. No, this is the old once per turn. Ah, this yeah. is how once per turn was presented before they came out with the once per turn. Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But then again, who the hell would want to throw six cards? You never know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, then his active is a uh, special counter blast. If anyone still remember a special counter blast, basically oh, counter blast so two. <laughs> yeah, counter blast two. Uh, counter blast of that namesake. Basically, counter blast two eradicator damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, this card blast okay. Mm -hmm. And then it has Lord Vanguard Rega. What is Lord? Just in case anyone has already forgotten about it, it's basically <laughs> if you have units of other clans aside from the this unit's uh, own clan, which is Narukami, which is Narukami, this, this card cannot attack. Yeah. So oh. do not use this. Yeah, in a with mixed cards. Now the the reason why Lord existed in the first place is because they wanted to restrict players who do who like to do extreme fight format decks, which is essentially put all the things that's great in Royal Paladin and all the things that's great in Kagero. You uh then together it gets a cheating skill meta deck. Yeah, something like that. So Lord is there to prevent that from happening and to bring it back to how Vanguard is supposed to be played, and that is clan fight format. Actually, yes. not how Vanguard was supposed to play is that you're supposed to mix clans together. Mm. Sorry, to, <laughs> sorry to, to undo what you said. Okay. So, but yeah, they realized that they might get a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. So, it's a mistake. So, so they 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 repackaged um, season two onwards with with a lot the skill in yeah. their way. So mm. if you have seen the the OTT Spy Brother deck, you understand. Yeah, if oh. as old as we are, you understand what that means. That, that was some. Nonsense. I need to try that one day. By the way, <laughs> that was some nonsense. Yeah. yeah. So 
So basically, this is all that we got from GBTO9. Um, of course, every single box is different. Why am I hosting? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, okay. right. so, yeah, let me follow up. So uh, every box is different. So don't be surprised if what you get is different from ours. And of course, don't be don't be surprised if you get things that are well not helpful to you in during the time because hey, this is an RNG thing. You you won't get what you want all the time, but. If you get to share with your friends, you know, you may just share clans and, and share slots and you, everyone gets a, a, a thing. Everybody will be able to walk away with something basically. Yes. So, Alright, so this is all that we have now. We do it. There are more cards that, that we don't didn't get in our box. Mm -hmm. So again, you can check the link in the description below to head to our blog post which is the booster pack. The yep. booster pack, will, we will explain to you guys all the other box, all the other releases that we missed. Yeah, uh, from from this box right there, mm. from this box that we have here. So, uh, with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video that we have here. If you did, uh, please do uh, subscribe to us here, Crossbow Vanguard, to see more shenanigans. If you'd like to see these cards in action uh, soon, uh, do subscribe to us. And also, if you want to, you can also ring that little bell that's next to the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. uh, that will actually notify you of any um, videos that we have coming up. Uh, as usual, we usually have a five video every Thursdays, which you can always check out. Yep. And these uh, videos. On on Saturdays and five and extra videos on Tuesdays and such. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to get notified, automatically you can ring the bell and they will let you know when, when we have when a new video is out. When the video yeah. is coming. Alright. So mm -hmm. in the meantime, do also follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook at Crossword Vanguards. We're on Twitter at Crossword BGS. We have a blog. Web, uh, uh, we have a blog, crossbowvegas.com. Try to get that right because we've been used to calling it WordPress because that's the place <laughs> we use. Uh, but we do, but, uh, but thanks to you guys for supporting us on, on Patreon so far, we have been able to buy the domain. So now we have crossbowvegas.com. Uh, speaking of Patreon, also do consider supporting us on Patreon as well. Uh, we are now having, we now have uh, goals and projects that we want to do, and they will be able to help, uh, they'll be able to happen sooner if we have your support through Patreon. Yep. Basically speaking, we want to make a, a Vanguard website series and we would like uh, you guys to help out uh, in that manner so that we can mm. get this done because we are very excited about doing this and yep and we hope that you'll support us in that endeavor so uh, as these guys are packing the space together so with that said thank you guys again for watching we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye. it's off centered by the way what is it? it doesn't yeah. matter I'll take this uh, hey 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 <laughs>